Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadwe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have created the Azure Databricks workspace. Now, in this video, we will explore the same. Let us go to Azure portal and start today's video. So here we are on the Azure portal. First, we have to select the Azure Databricks service. You can search the same from here. Under the Azure Databricks service, we have the workspace that we have created earlier, Databricks-WS. Let us launch the workspace. Sign into Databricks. Using Microsoft Intra ID single sign-on. And this is the Azure Databricks workspace. You can see the Microsoft Azure logo as well as the Databricks logo here. The Microsoft Azure logo indicates that we are working within the Azure environment and the Databricks logo indicates that we are in the Databricks platform. Then we have these options under the sidebar. First we have the common functionalities offered by the Databricks. The new tab, Workspace, Recents, Catalog, Workflows and Compute. Then we have options for the SQL. This is the SQL Data Warehouse. Then options for the Data Engineering machine learning and at the end we have these two options marketplace and partner connect let us start with this tab new from here we can create new assets like notebooks and workflows let us explore this option from here we can create notebook query dashboard job dlt pipeline we can set the alert we can create new experiment as well as we can create auto ml experiment and model let us see the more options this is for git folder cluster and sql warehouse then we have workspace in the workspace all the notebooks folders libraries and other specific items are stored under the workspace we have these options home workspace repositories this is the legacy one this is shifted under the workspace. You can see here repos. This is the shared folder. And from here you can see the users. This is my user. Let us understand repos. This is moved under the workspace. We can now create git folders in any workspace folder. So repos for the git folder. So this is all about the workspace. Then the recents. Here we can see all the recent files. Then the catalog. The catalog contains a list of available datasets, databases or resources that you can access and query. Here you can see the Hive Meta Store as well as we can see the samples. Then the workflows. Here you can define and manage automated workflows like jobs and scheduled tasks. Under the workflows, we have three options, jobs, job runs and delta live tables. Then we have compute. From here, we can create the all purpose compute, job compute, SQL warehouses, as well as we can create pools and policies for the cluster. So this is all about the common functionalities. Let us explore the SQL options. First, we have SQL editor. The SQL editor is used to run SQL queries directly against your data sets or delta tables. It is an essential tool for data analysis and exploration. From here we can run the SQL queries. Then the queries. Queries shows a list of saved queries that you have run in the past. As of now there are no queries ran in the past. Then the dashboards. From here we can create the dashboards to visualize the SQL query results. It is useful for monitoring key performance matrices. Then the alerts. From here we can set the alerts based on the certain thresholds from your SQL queries. Then it can notify you if certain conditions are met in the data. Then the query history. It keeps a log of all the SQL queries that you ran in Databricks. And at the end SQL warehouses. From here you can configure and manage the SQL warehouses which provides the compute resources for running the queries. So these are the all options under the SQL. 
the six options let us explore the data engineering options here we have job runs under the job runs you can see jobs then the job runs and delta live tables these are the same options that we are getting under the workflows jobs job runs and delta live tables then the data ingestion from here we can bring raw data from the external sources into databricks environment for the processing you can see all the options here from here we can create or modify tables then five trunk connectors here we have one drive google drive jira github and the web hooks then the delta live tables this is a powerful feature that allows us to define the tables that automatically update as new data comes in it is very helpful for streaming and batch pipelines so these are the all options under the data engineering then we have options for the machine learning workloads first we have playground this is an experimental area where you can test the machine learning models algorithms and workflows then the experiments this is a feature that allows us to track the machine learning experiments and their parameters matrices and results under the experiments we have these options auto ml traditional and mosaic ai model training this is under preview then the features this option is deprecated in the current workspace and the databricks recommends use feature engineering in unity catalog from the feature store we can manage and share curated features used for machine learning models then the models models is a centralized place to manage and deploy the machine learning models in databricks and at the end we have this option serving this allows us to deploy the machine learning models for real time serving so these are the all options under the machine learning then we have marketplace from here you can access third party datasets applications and machine learning models that can be integrated in your databricks workspace private exchanges are now available these are the featured providers these are the models that you can use staff picks free and instantly available assets and so on then the partner connect with the help of this feature we can connect the data bricks with the third party tools like business intelligence platforms machine learning frameworks and data ingestion services these are the data ingestion services fitran hevo informatica and so on then business intelligence and visualization from here you can connect to the microsoft power bi tableau and so on so these are the all options under this navigation bar let us go to home to do that you have to click on the microsoft azure or you can click on the databricks from here you can search data notebooks recents and more let us try this one all results when you search you will get the search from all the results you can select specifically as well like notebooks jobs queries files and so on then this is the workspace databricks workspace that we have created under the west us location and from here you can manage the account from here you can go to settings you can go to azure portal you can see the privacy policy previews you can send the feedback and you can log out and this is the assistant you can ask queries from here to the assistant like what is delta lake how can create a delta live table and so on let us go to home page i hope you understood the databricks workspace overview these are the all options that we explored if you are not getting anything or you are little bit confused then don't worry you will get all these options as we proceed further